You see these things here? This is, let's start with these two things right here. Let's start with this thing right here. This right here is, it's a knockoff Moonman fountain pen. This is gonna be my second fountain pen ever. Let's zoom in and take a look at it right here. So, there, you actually get a Moonman tip from this. I got this off AliExpress. It was $7. But it was, I wanted to see what these Moon Men, um, I wanted to see what these knockoff fountain pens of actual Moon Men and Giano pens looked like. So, it also came with this attractive eyedropper. So, I'm actually going to be filling this. So, I actually had to buy the pen ink myself. I bought this kind. Let me focus in on it so you can see it. Parker Quink. Quink? Q-U-I-N-K Quink, am I saying that right? I'm worried about this color. I feel it's gonna be really, really light. So let's actually take the, let's take the ink out of the box first, see what it looks like. Um, anything of interest on these sides? Nope, nope, nope. So moving forward, this is the ink I'm gonna be using until it's all up. I'll probably get some more ink, um, different colors. If anybody has suggestions, hey, I'm totally open to it. But as we can see, it just looks like a regular ink bottle. And if I open it up, oh my gosh, it's ink. I'm actually really excited about this because I'm, like I said before, I'm getting into more fountain pens, more ink stuff, and this is all brand new to me. So everything I say is just from the mouth of somebody that's completely new. So let's take a look. First of all, let's actually feel how this pen feels. I like the, what is it, the clear, the transparency of it, the translucency of it. I think it looks really neat. I'm a big fan of it altogether. So I guess when I fill up the ink right here, you can just like move it around and then write and see it like slowly draining. A little bit more fun than a, a big pen then, right? So it's two, three screw mechanisms because I have to screw this off. You'll notice it doesn't have one of those ridges, you know, to connect to like, uh, like a pocket, like a shirt pocket and stuff. So I don't know why I can only speculate. I'm going to assume, let me zoom out more. Yeah. I'm going to assume that they don't have one cause it's just supposed to always be laid down, not meant to be kept in pockets. Are fountain pens meant to be kept in your pockets? I have no idea, but let's actually just unscrew this before we start looking at the base of the pen here. Uh, nothing much about this. It's kind of your generic shape. So the Moon Man pens that I've seen on screens, I haven't bought one yet, but the ones that I've seen, let me zoom in, they usually are red and they say Moon Man on them. These ones don't. Okay, so actually take a look at this. So in the description that I said, it said, it said this is a Moon Man tip or a Moon Man nib. So if I get in a little bit closer and I focus, yeah, look at that. You can see where it says the Moon Man on it. Not Nothing special in terms of a design. This part, I don't know if this is supposed to come out that easily, but it was, look at that. That worries me because when I start loading the ink, I don't know if there's any type of suction that's going to be had. Uh, the TV's too loud. I'm going to turn it down. Hold on one second. Now, if I look in here, it looks like it could take a cartridge. I am, I'm really excited to find out more information if this can take cartridges as well. I haven't really met much cartridge pens except for that crappy Parker pen that I did, which, again, I've been told there's much better ones. I literally did get the cheapest of the bunch. And that black um, Cross Calis pen that I have, those ones took cartridges. This just because if you look, let's see if I can get into here, the here. You can see like there's a little nib in the top, like when a cartridge would be put in where it would ac accept it. So we'll see about this. But again, I'm worried about this if this is gonna fall out when writing, because all the pens that I've touched before, they've never done that. So let's actually un let's zoom zoom out like I just did right here. Let's screw this back. I want to screw this back in. Oh, I can see this rubber tip here. Well, actually, we're going to leave it open. I don't know why. I unscrewed it. Let's focus in a bit more. We're going to take this. Okay. Okay. 
I'm using the eyedropper tool, sucking some in, putting it over. How much should I put? How much should I put in? Should I fill it all the way to the top? I'm kind of afraid to, so I'm going to fill it not all the way, just to where the little blue part is. Okay, let's move that to the side. Obviously, going to need like a strong like seal for this because the last thing I want this thing to do is leak. So that's just yikes. So it has this little rubber seal that it's not sealing all the way. And that actually scares me. So let's see if we can get that fixed. I want that fixed. Okay. All right. I feel that's solid enough. I feel that's solid enough. So it really looks cool. It does look cool when you move it back and forth in here like this. Okay. I'm just going to hold it just like this for a few minutes. Hold it like this for a few minutes and then see what happens. Let's see how much more ink comes down from it. Okay, one thing I am noticing is like, remember when I said earlier that the nib right at the top was just really, really loose? Like really loose? It's actually got some friction now. So I guess when I do start to write, it's going to be a lot better then, which is good. That's what I want, right? I don't want this falling around. That was my, that for certainly was my biggest fear. All right, I got my trusty paper. Let's start writing. Let's see how well this looks out. Interested, interested, very interested. Okay, so. Hello. Ooh, yeah, like so far so good. This is a knock, knock off, moon, man, pen. Okay, again, the audio is so loud on my TV. There we go. So far, well, let's see, so far... So far, I'm not a fan. I am not <laughs> not a fan of the color. Now, one thing I do know with um, fountain pens is you're not supposed to apply pressure. That's the benefit of a fountain pen. Like, the ink is just supposed to flow. But seeing how light this ink is coming out, it makes me believe, like, I'm, I'm wanting to put more pressure when I know I shouldn't be. But I feel like I, I, I want to. Uh, well, this was a cheap pen. If I apply a little bit more pressure like that, yeah, if I apply a little bit more pressure, it comes out. But then again, I always worry about, like, ruining the nib. Let's focus on, like, ruining this nib right here. So I'm not going to apply much more pressure. I'm just going to, well, okay, no, F it. Let me just try some more with more pressure. This is me. A, yeah, applying more. This is me applying more pressure. Now, as I see when I'm applying more pressure, I hope you can see this, it's very inconsistent on how it's going. And I guess that's also dependent on the angle that I'm doing it at. But of course I'm not going to do it at, I'm going to do it at the regular writing angle. So how does cursive work? Let's see. How does cursive writing work? Nick, Not the best, and that's not the best cursive I've ever had either. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's try coloring with this. You know what, I'm not going to give this pen a bad review, mainly because I, I feel it's this ink. I feel that I've, the, the ink color that I have, it's just really, really light. And I like my colors, like, to come up and be dark. Like, with the first, that, with that cross callus, 
fountain pen that I had. The thing that I liked about it the most is it like it came out dark and it came out really wet, but it came in, it dried really quickly as well. That's what I liked about this one. Altogether though, like I do like seeing. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's focus in there. I do like seeing all the ink just inside here, just constantly going down. It does look cool. But you know what? I'm I'm starting to grow a preference. When I the, the more pens that I find I buy, I want them to have better presentation. I thought I was gonna be wowed by this presentation. The nib looks cool. It's got that nice like it's let's let's actually take some more time to go look at this nib again. So yeah, let's look at this nib again a little bit more. Like I like all those little designs that it has on it. And I like that it says Moon Man on it, but I feel with 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 fountain pen makers and okay this is me just speculating they they take pride in making these nibs designs a little bit more fancy and stuff again this is only my second pen so i hope i hope i am wrong um i know i'm i'm no, sorry i hope i'm right in regards to having a better like with fountain pen makers having better designs on there because if i was to make my own custom fountain pen i think i'd put emphasis i would put a big emphasis on the design looking of the nib but this does look this does look cool. I don't know how how long this is going to hold up. I'd say pretty well. But fountain, the more fountain pens I've seen, they get really expensive. And why would I want to get into a hobby of something really really cheap, right? Is this going to be a daily writer for me for all the signatures I do? No, big fat no. I'm still not. This part has a little bit more. It's rigid now, like it was moving freely when it had no ink on it. I can see some ink coming out of it, like coming out the tip here. And you can see my fingers are stained um, with this ink. But this isn't going to be an everyday, this is certainly not going to be an everyday pen for me. I don't really like, yeah, I really don't like how it looks um, writing. So I think, I think with my next video, I'm going to go buy a darker color. And... I'm going to try writing with this this Parker ink that I have and then the darker color to see if it's the ink that is this purposely this light or am I just doing something wrong in terms of getting proper flow cuz I am getting prop like I'm getting proper flow is like the ink's coming out consistent as you can see right but it just it's so light and faded and I've never seen faded ink like this so like if I just write normally right here that's how it is but if I apply more pressure it's coming out dark. I don't want, I was putting a lot of pressure on this nib and I don't want to do that with most of my pens moving forward. I only can because this one is so cheap and the last thing I want to do is bend this nib. Let me actually try one more time to write with this really, really dark with a lot of pressure. This is me. A P P L. Applying a lot of P R E S S U R. Yeah, again, that was my second try. Nah, I don't want to apply that rough pressure on it. So, in a nutshell, this knockoff Moon Man pen. So, so, so. This ink, I gotta find better ink. I gotta find better ink for this.